We decided to go into virtualizing medical and allied health simulation because for too long simulation has been done in an unsafe or unrealistic environment. Allowing the students to use virtual reality simulation means they'll always be able to use the most up-to-date equipment in the virtual reality simulation. It's current, it's modern, and it functions in the exact same way as you'd expect a machine to function in a hospital. Simulation is done mainly in tertiary education institutes, universities, colleges. Simulation can also be done in hospitals and in an ongoing way for continuing medical education. Often in the evenings universities are teaching different courses. They can't do that in a room that's got a simulation environment set up. But if you're using a virtual reality simulation environment, once you turn the infrared cameras off, you can just put chairs and tables back in that room and use it any way you want to. Adaptive learning really treats each student as an individual. What the software does is it picks up on their weaknesses and puts them into those modules a little bit more frequently and it allows them to bypass other areas where they've proven competence. Metric feedback, which you can get from computers, is incredibly powerful and it's instantaneous. You can't use radiation on human subjects to test. The students can never experiment like we want them to and we can do that in virtual reality. For the patients, it's just a lot nicer to have students not training on them and they can be assured that by the time the students do get to see them that they've done 50 or 60 of these procedures in a virtual reality environment and they're competent. We've been getting very good feedback from the students. They love the adaptive learning so that each course is developed just for them and they love the simulation as well in the virtual reality.